remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I wasn't even going to dignify this monumental foolery with a comment, but I felt compelled to because this police officer's behavior underscores everything that's wrong with policing in America. An Hispanic police captain in Miami who has been accused of racist behavior against the black community, showed up at a Miami City Commission meeting to inform concerned citizens that he now considers himself black. According to the Washington Post, when Captain Javier Ortiz filled out an application to become a police officer, he proudly identified himself as a white Hispanic man. Since then, the union representing black police officers has accused the Miami Police Department of enabling racism and discrimination, and many noted, during the controversy, Ortiz decided to check a box claiming to be black while applying for a promotion. This A1 doofus stood before the commission and boldly said, I am a black male. Yes, I am. I am not Hispanic. I was born in this country. That's how I feel. When asked to further explain his stance, he then invoked the one drop rule, which he said identifies and defines what a black male is or a Negro. You would know that if you have one drop of black in you, you're considered black. It is amazing how they like to turn the black on and off at their convenience. The only reason why he said that, it was two reasons why he made such a dumb statement. One, to cover his ass. Two, to get ahead. That's it. Because I'm sure he wasn't feeling black when he was riding around beating up all these little black kids. I'm sure when he was getting all those complaints from the black community that he did not feel black. Uh, he felt every bit of what he is. Hispanic, but wanting to be white. Longing to be white praying, wishing like hell that he was white. Because one thing that I know about those Hispanics that wish they were white, that you know try to turn it on and off, the whiteness on and off, is they ain't got no problem claiming that Hispanic heritage. They hang around their people a lot. But when it's convenient for them, they're white. This dude has also drawn heat for defending police officers involved in shooting and killing black boys and men. He actually uh, has been on record making fun of the victims. We're talking about people that have lost their lives. He's actually made fun of. This is the type of person that they have in Miami's police department. This is the type of cops that are out there on the streets. In 2016, he boycotted Beyonce. Uh, he boycotted her Super Bowl performance when she uh, you know, did the whole Black Panther salute. Florida is full of lunatics. I mean, Texas, we got our fair share. But Florida is dancing on Texas' head. 
in every other city in America. Now, don't get too excited, some of you out there that live in some of these other wacko cities, because America is full of lunatics and wackos and clowns and crazies. They're everywhere. Texas and Florida just seems to have a higher concentration of them. But they're everywhere. You can't avoid them. There's nowhere in America where you can go and find a whole community of sane people. You can't find it anywhere. Again, leadership starts at the top. You got a sicko in the Oval Office. What do you think he was going to get? This dude, if you look at his public history and interactions with the public, his behavior is indicative of a sociopath. That's what he is. Now, for some of you out there, you're going to watch that video and you're going to say, wow, this dude is outrageous. Not really. If you really think about it, America created this I feel like culture. Just wake up and you feel like this one day. And the next day you feel like this. Whatever you feel like, that's what you are. America did it. Javier, you know, if you really felt like a black man, you would slap the piss out of yourself for making such an asinine statement. Furthermore, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?